Hey everybody, Team Yamix here, and today we're going to talk about the Academy Color Encoding System, also known as ACES. I want to show you how you can change your color grading workflow by using the right color signs for your footage. And believe me, it's simpler than you think. I don't know why the most tutorials about this content are about 15 until 20 minutes. I guess I can explain it a bit faster, maybe in 8 or 10 minutes. First, I want to tell you what ACES is, and then I want to show you how to use it to get your color grading skills to the next, next level. So, first, what is ACES? The Academy Color Encoding System, also known as ACES, is a color image encoding system created by hundreds of industry professionals and under the auspices of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. ACES allows for a fully encompassing color accurate workflow with seamless interchange of high quality motion picture images, regardless of your image source. Sounds impressive and pretty theoretical, right? I will explain it in much simpler words. So, an average human eye can see a huge amount of different colors, much larger than DCI, sRGB, Rec. 709 or Cinema Gamut, and so on. That's the reason why we deal so hard with our footage to get great looking colors out of it, because we simply don't have enough colors, or more correctly, not enough color space in DCI, Rec. 709 and so on. And here's the simplest description what ACES is. ACES is defined as a smaller set of primaries that encloses the wall CIE 1964 standard observer spectral locus thus theoretically including and exceeding all the color stimuli that can be seen by the average human eye. You got it? ACES is a color space which includes the color space of a human eye. That's technically not exact, but that's what it means finally. And what's the ACES workflow? In simple words, the ACES workflow is based on the ACES pipeline, which I show you in a simplified view of the workflow and it's pretty easy to understand. And now we are ready to practice. First, in DaVinci Resolve, go to your project settings and go to your color management tab and on the top under color signs switch to ACES CC. Direct below under ACES version choose the newest version, in this case ACES 1.1. Leave all grayed out entries as it is and jump to ACES Input Device Transform, also called IDT. If you have consistent footage shot by only one camera and not in RAW, then you can choose here the right source of your input device. In case of RAW footage, leave the menu on No Input Transform. It will be detected correctly by DaVinci Resolve itself and will be transformed automatically. Now under ACES Output Device Transform, choose REC 709 if you want to deploy the result on the web. Save your changes in the project settings. And now go to your color page and right click on one of your thumbnails, then click on Update All Thumbnails. In my case I have a clip in BRAW and so it's automatically transformed correctly by WG Resolve. And that's it. Now we have a great starting point. And from here you can do your color grading for your footage. And the best part, with the ACES workflow, you can easily match footage from different cameras by choosing the right IDT for every single clip manually. Okay, now you know what ACES is in a yes, more simplified and understandable way how the ACES workflow works. And if you want to dive deeper into ACES pipeline and workflow to get more detailed knowledge, though so let me know in the comments. I hope I could show you some interesting facts about ACES and the ACES workflow. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. You all a great time. Bye.